Today I am going to the Hive Insight Museum. I wanted to go towards the beginning of my Korea trip, but they were actually closed for renovations for the past two and a half to three weeks. So this is a vlog where I share with you the newly renovated Hive Insight Museum. So we're gonna take a look inside. I heard it takes about two hours to look through everything. Plot twist, I'm actually gonna go with two of my students and their mom. So I taught this mom's children. But they are in Korea, we're going to meet up and look around because all of them are also BTS ARMY Okay I just got off a plane this morning and I'm headed to the museum <laughs> film inside the museum but I'll make sure to show you guys as much as I can on the outside and then any pictures that we're able to take it is a sprinkling just a tiny bit and this lady came over and put her umbrella over my head and said that we could share until my light changes so people here are really really sweet to get tickets to the Hive Insight Museum, first you need to download the Weverse app and make an account. Then you'll log in with your Weverse account and you can pick the date and the time. But if you want the Bang PD egg tarts, you have to go in the morning. Click before 14 if you want the morning times and you can also choose to get a photo card as a ticket. Yummy! Did you try this yet? It was actually pretty good. <laughs> We ate across the street from the museum and the food was so mouth-watering and then we decided to go for a little walk. And then it heats it, it boils it. Oh, so you're like cooking your ramen here. <laughs> <laughs> Having a BB beak? We can wait for her. Walking along the Han River at nighttime was everything I wanted and more. It was so magical to be able to just walk around and see all of the city lights and also see the reflection on the water. Alright, got my little Wi-Fi egg and we are ready to roll. So today, my cousin, my aunt, and my mom and I are going to go more to the countryside. On the countryside! And on the way, we're going to stop by BTS Suga. Actually, it was an August D video. So we are going to visit the Dechita set. My aunt wanted me to try authentic traditional Korean food and then I realized that the place that we're going to is right next to the place where they filmed Dechita. Going to head out. We are going to go to the countryside. On the countryside! This place is a very popular movie set, so you'll also see a lot of references to different Korean dramas. This is the scene where Yoongi is in the marketplace and he bumps into Jin and Jungkook and Jin and Jungkook end up fighting. Then we move on to the palace scene where he is the king and he is rocking out. You can see all of the historical references here of how people lived back then in Korea and then people like to also stack rocks because they feel like it's a way to make a wish. My family and I stopped by to get some walnut snacks which are really delicious and fresh and then we were able to eat our traditional Korean food at this beautiful restaurant. We are going to Nankan Tower. 
싶었던 춤이 달콤라 어디든 갈 것을 방 받아 그저 그랬던 풍경들이 이제 보니까 아름다운 I love the couple locks are over here 여유 있으면 더 충분히 행복해 미소가 지어 아 무서워 아 오늘 저기로 간다 우리가? 어 내가 뜨거 저거 보는 게 무서워 이게 뭐야? 아 그냥 들어가는 거 여기도 잘 보여 <laughs> Good morning. Today I am going to Jin's restaurant. Yes, BTS Jin. But there is some confusion about this restaurant. So to clarify, Jin's brother owns the restaurant, but Jin also invested into it and he is one of the restaurant directors of this place. So it is like Jin's slash his brother's restaurant, but it is Japanese style. It's similar to Shabu Shabu, except they just steam your food right in front of you. The restaurant was only 20 minutes away from Gangnam and it was in a very popular alleyway with a lot of different restaurants. <laughs> We ordered a beef combo set and it also came with an appetizer and I absolutely love sweet potatoes. I felt like the sauces here were also really delicious. When trying to get around Korea, there are a couple apps that are really helpful, especially getting from one BTS location to the next. The public transportation here is amazing and you can literally get to anywhere basically at the same time as if you were driving. Sometimes it's faster because the traffic here is pretty intense. One app that I have been using constantly is Kakao Map. So on Kakao Map, you have to input the addresses in Korean. So it is helpful to be able to read some of the Korean characters, but if not, you can just copy and paste it. So what I did was I would Google an address, find the Korean address, and then paste it onto Kakao Map. Then you can click on the little subway public transportation button, and it'll tell you how long before the next subway comes or before the next bus arrives. Now on the Korean subway system, you also have to look at what exit you should take. So after you get off of the subway, there are a bunch of different exit signs and numbers. So on the Kakao Map, it tells you what number you should exit out of and then you can walk to your next destination. The next app that was really helpful for me was Kakao Taxi. I do have Kakao Talk which is a text messaging app but on Kakao Taxi you can call a taxi. Now one thing I didn't know was that the first page it lands on is the payment method and you need a Korean credit card but if you swipe to the right you can just say you want to pay the driver directly before you get out of the car. So those two apps are incredibly helpful. I didn't really use neighbor map that much so I didn't feel like that was something I really needed but pretty much everyone here uses Kakao Taxi and Kakao Map. The subway map is also helpful in a sense of you can see the grand picture of of all of the subway stations and all of the subway lines in Seoul but you can just take a picture of that at any subway station that has the map as well so that's really helpful when getting around to Korea I flew back to America and right when I came back, I ended up working out and then going grocery shopping because I had no food left in my fridge. It was pretty crazy how easily I just went back into my routine, but I really feel like I left a big part of my heart in Korea. I miss Korea a lot and I'll be back soon.